<laughs> Every area we try to make it multi-purpose, you know. Yeah. Sometimes we do it, it looks like it's just for the beauty, you know, it, this is the front of the house. But then this pond has fish in it, you know, it's talking about how rich this water would be. Because sometimes in dry season we use the water to, and this has the rain, it's a collected rainwater. So we use the water to water plants that actually sometimes need water during dry season. Like Jabatikabas, for example, that are planted here. Yeah. So this is our front area, more for beauty. This is like flowering bushes that we planted. Nice. We have a water lily, or like we call it water lotus, that's about to bloom there, but it's not open. I think oh, it opens in cool. the evening. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it, I wish it was open right now. It looks beautiful, but by evening it should open. This is an unopened water lily flower. Water lily, it's a white uh, water lily. It's a white water lily flower that's gonna open probably tonight? Today evening, yes. That is cool, I've never seen that. Sometimes we have two or three. And I think I'll stay until... No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, going through this garden on the left, uh, we have all the Jabaticabas planted. Yeah. So, this um, is a vanilla orchid? Which one? This? This is a wild potato. Oh, wow. Potato. It's seasonal. It does like this oh, yes. and then it dries and then next yeah. year it again came, comes from the same yeah. place. So it's mostly edibles. It's just pretty much... Do you have any orna some ornamentals? We yeah. do. Like yeah. behind you, this is just a, a rosebud jasmine that okay. has taken over. Yeah. But it gives a very good fragrance in the evening ah, so yeah, you know, yeah. when it flowers. So yeah. it's, Have you tried ylang ylang? We have a tree up outside. Oh, the, nice. That's for the community to get the smell. Oh, of yeah. <laughs> I'd like to look at that tree later if you have, Okay, yeah, yeah. sure. I'll Remind me. I'll try to remember. Uh, so, Jabatikab is on the left. I have some sour soaps, the gu guanabana planted. Oh, sour uh, soaps, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. they haven't fruited for us yet, but no. Um, Different varieties? Yeah, this is the Indonesian variety. It's called Bali. That one is a Miami variety oh, yeah. and uh, behind that it's a multi-grafted tree with Whitman variety and uh, Yucatan. Multi-grafted sour sauce? Yeah. Oh let's take a look. I hope the graft is, I wonder we can go there. Uh, okay I can show you from far because this. So you guys can see the leaves of this and this are different. This is a blue green like you know it's it's like a different color leaf compared to this one the graft is here probably here let's see i is here so this this branch here is different but this whole branch that's coming this way is a, it's a different this one is a yucatan from mexico and this one is a whitman fiberless wow they they take but they they need a certain time it seems like you know i'm multi grafted guanabana sour sap that is interesting. Uh, what else? So this is the tunnel. You have to see this, our Black Timor. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Bamboo. Black uh, bamboo. With bamboos, it's good. They, they help in windbreak. Uh, where does it end? Uh, <laughs> no, that's the problem. I'm going to cut, cut it down yeah. to maybe 10 to 12 feet because, you know, sometimes it starts to shade the other fruit trees. Right. But it's yeah. good in windbreak, you know. To yeah. help, help this is a clumping type. It's not a runner, right? Right. It's a clumping Timor yeah. Black. Yeah. And this one is a tunnel of passion fruit. Nice. We have like three different passion fruits together, so yeah. they help in pollination. Our season is gone for passion fruit, but I wonder if you can still find some fallen ones no with the wind and the rain you oh, okay i mean one is here so a um, couple weeks ago this everything was hanging from here like this so they were all like hanging fruits when oh, that they were must have been, so, that must have been really cool yeah looking. that looked nice yeah so this is good because you know we, we needed to find a place where so much of vine could crawl but then this is a good tunnel you know you don't yeah. get sun here yeah. and <laughs> you can come here when it gets hot so this area is for my it's my dwarf uh, mango garden. There is Julie, one of my favorites this year. Mm -hmm. Dwarf Hawaiian, another I like so much. The spicy sweet dwarf Hawaiian. A bit of fiber, I don't mind. Pickering, mm -hmm. it's it's you know people don't get pickering right because it needs to be very uh, complex and intense for pickering to be go there up to the top uh, mangoes and it doesn't usually get that complexity it's mild for most of the people because 
one could be the rains they affect a lot when it is in the drier place because this area is the one of the driest area of my garden and i don't use irrigation you don't see you know that you would be surprised okay <laughs> for establishing the garden at least you should have put irrigation everywhere no the irrigation it's you know summer season it rains yeah. the winter season there is two or three months of dryness but i don't plant my trees during the winter i plant them just before the summer starts so that they can establish yeah. during the summer season and once the roots are established i don't water them next yeah. year i think this morning's thunderstorm really uh really takes away any need for irrigation <laughs> yeah. it probably rained uh, it rained enough this morning that much uh, as much as california gets in a year so i have namdak <laughs> mai namdak mai which uh, i probably will do a multi grafted tree on that one and i have a in two indian varieties it's a double double one it's a i think the graft i need to i need to start labeling my graft i think it's here the graft this one is called the uh, alka nil kiran and this is called jehangir ooh yeah yeah it's, it's another yeah. good one yeah. jehangir is very sweet and yeah. spicy i like that uh, little gem which i liked last year little gem if you like julie probably you'll like little gem it's you know this yeah. is remission uh butterscotch uh, sapadilla it's mm -hmm. one of the sapadillas that's supposed to taste I'll, you know better than just sweet mm. and pretty it's, it has better consistency i heard so and another thing people don't know about it is that this is our river a brackish water which is partly salty yeah so not all the trees do well close to the river and you know um that's cool you live behind the uh, yeah. in front of a river no crocodiles no alligators but manatee watch our lemon zest video there is a manatee swimming on the back wow <laughs> Do you go swimming in here sometime? Uh, people go like you know paddling yeah. and boating. Yeah. I go because this I constructed this one, the, so I had to be in the river just doing the construction. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so when you come this way, just watch for the leaves and the crab holes. Crab holes? Yeah, these big crabs are. There. What? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, we use Man, this. where are we? <laughs> <laughs> we use this for the biochar, so we burn, I don't know, you know whatever we have, we burn here and the, the wood ash, we use it, because biochar is a good uh, you know, fertilizer, we, you use it with your compost. And, uh, and these are the pomegranates you were talking the about? South Indian pomegranate, which hopefully will fruit for us soon. Yeah. And my uh, lemon zest tree, planted last year, I have seven grafts on it, not because seven I... Seven grafts? Not because I tree. don't like lemon zest, because it's one of those trees that take every graft. You, you may make a mistake in your grafting, but it, the tree takes it. So <laughs> Seven grafts on one tree. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I have a Super Glen, Estimawi, Yisuan, uh, another seedling of lemon zest. I have white piri here, inverted graft. <laughs> I need an inverted one and see it. With, Whoa. That's Estimawi. This one is a uh, white piri. It white like piri is an amazing yeah, tasting mango. I love tasting. it a lot. Karen Michelle, which wait, wait, I, wait, talk a little bit about this graft. You said it's an ah, inverted. That's an inverted by mistake. Not like I, I didn't know I was doing an inverted graft. So this is, this is supposed to be down here. This is. Up. Oh, this is the this is the yeah. bottom. This is the top. Oh man, that is interesting. Look at and that. It seems like the. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and it still grew. It still grew. It's an upside down graft, people. That is cool, man. <laughs> Another right. very tasty mango, Karen Michelle. Karen Michelle. And I have some Edward here. Edward, Edward, Super Glen. So this this one is like a side veneer or? A yeah, this was a side, side graft, which graph. I cut it later. And yeah. I don't do the cleft that much, but yeah. this one I tried and it seemed like, you know, it, it, it took Beautiful. just the top cleft with the V. Beautiful, nice. So, um, hold on, I... okay. Well, first, off, Satya is standing. Well, look at these huge leaves behind him, but look, there's a coconut tree right above him. And he said squirrels fight their way and bite right through the coconuts. I didn't know, I didn't know squirrels can do that, but that is pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, and we're standing right in front of his shade house. So we, we got this shade house because we were having a lot of seedlings pop out and you know we thought that maybe s some people will buy them or maybe we need some space to store them before you know we plant them so 
that's how it got started and another reason was like when we do the winter veggies first we need to put the seeds in and the squirrels were destroying when they were outside so we thought that we can enclose them and it kind of has protected against squirrels so come in and I'll show you oh nice so uh, another advantage is the jabuticabas they uh -huh. like the shaded area they don't like full sun so I have many many varieties of jabuticabas and they grow slowly so you know they won't outgrow your shade house these are the jabuticabas right here back here and I am, I'm also keeping a lot of seedlings because I want to someday do a grafting class like an educational class for the community or whoever wants to come through online advertisement so when these grow to a pencil size then we can organize that's what we are thinking so that they, you know they, they would learn and they probably can take some variety if, if their graft stakes so that's the purpose of this nice one. and these are seedlings of what loquat just uh, loquat seedlings okay loquat, loquat seedlings. okay i see some white sapote seedlings here same too. thing i'll do yeah. uh, i'm keeping them so that i can graft them yeah. and you know nice and a couple of my own grafting um, grafting's going on. People, people who know us through YouTube, they ask like, "Are you growing this variety?" And you know, I have a lula, so I, I had the rootstock for Florida, the lula. So this one is a day avocado. Someone needed a, so I grafted it. And cool. th this one is an uh, oro negro that seems like it's pushing. Nice air layers, guava air layers. I'm making. I hope this one. Problem with guava is that here we have nematodes in the soil. Mm -hmm. So even when we try to not use any medium that has nematode, you know, the sterile medium, somehow they creep in from somewhere through under the pot. And once they go in, the guava doesn't really thrive after that. So really hard time to take, uh, you know, keep the nematodes away. Very cool. Some pitanga tubas, some grafted white sapotes. <laughs> grafted white sapotes. Yeah. I think the, the a lot of grafting going on here. Yeah, I Satya like, loves yeah. to graft and he likes to experiment too. I'll show you a uh, tamarind grafting that I've yeah. done for the first time. I mean, yeah. after two months, I thought it it took, but still it's not like, you know, after the first shoot, it's not growing. So it's, with grafting, it's always like, fingers crossed. You don't yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, Satya, thank you for the tour. Really appreciate it. This place is amazing and I wish you all the best. Thank you, Asma. Yeah. Thank you for coming. It's, yeah. it's you know, I, I like that you appreciate it. And, you know, yeah. it's just the whole idea is to create a place where you don't only eat fruits, but you relax, relax feel, yeah. feel peaceful and go feel back peaceful. happy. Yeah. So. <laughs> I definitely feel that. I definitely got that vibe. And it was a really awesome experience. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saya. Take you. care.